So these are three lear life examples from the last few months with my own buyers. And that tells you how each dynamic is a little different. Every buyer is a little different. Their situation is different. And you act based on that and your gut feel and your knowledge of the local market. So buyer number one, the list price was 325K. We escalated it to 368K and the property actually appraised at that price. Uh, why were we so confident? A, we knew that the 325 was too low for that neighborhood. We'd been, you know, analyzing that market. We had bid on some homes in that same community before. We knew what kind of competition it was going to be. There were actually 20 offers on the property and we knew it was going to be crazy. I don't think the listing agent had any idea how she had underpriced the home. 368 was the fair market value. It even appraised at the, that price, but the buyer was actually a very strong buyer, very good credit, lots more cash, qualified for even a $500,000 home, but wanted to stay conservative, which I truly support. And even if we had appraised less, he knew he had the funds to bring to the table. So this was a win. You know, it actually appraised at purchase price. The second buyer, the home was listed at 189900 Now, this is a VA buyer. A buyer didn't have a whole lot of cash on hand. Uh, so we couldn't bring any extra funds in case the property didn't appraise. So there was no way we were going to be able to do an appraisal wave offer. So you have to recognize the kind of homes you're able to buy. So we had been on a few homes that were move-in ready, spick and sand, gorgeous, you know, the um, nice stainless steel and nice uh, hardwood floors. And uh, we lost those because we were not able to make aggressive offers because we couldn't waive that appraisal contingency. So... You know, we had, I had been in conversation with the buyer and he recognized at some point that, yes, we cannot make aggressive offers on those move-in ready homes. Maybe we need a dynamic with a seller who is very anxious to sell and maybe the home needs is a little dated and needs some work. And which worked out great because this buyer is very handy, can, can get everything done himself. And he was only buying a small condo. He's like, Bela, there's nothing I can't do myself. Let's buy something that is a little bit of a, you know, which needs a custom updates and cosmetic updates and we can get it done. So it was listed at 189K. We knew we did not waive the appraisal contingency. We offered 200,000. Of course, the offer was contingent upon the appraisal. The appraisal came in at 197.5. So we came a little short in the appraisal, but because our offer was contingent, we were able to negotiate this price and this was the purchase price because the seller negotiated the price with us. We recognized that seller dynamic. We knew that the seller was anxious to sell. And after three weeks of having been off market, they didn't want to go back on the market and wait another month to be able to find another buyer who needed another loan. So they were just happy to just reduce the price for my buyer. And that was a huge win. And, you know, this buyer has actually made all the fixes and updates to the property and is absolutely loving it. I've seen the before and after pictures, just gorgeous. This is the third buyer of mine. These buyers are very sweet, very young couple, uh, very strong. They were appraised, uh, they um, were pre-approved for a property that is, you know, 275 to 80. However, the cash that they had to bring to the table was limited. They were only putting 3 and 5% down. So once again, we can't make aggressive offers. So they did have some extra funds to bring to the table, but the strategy we had was instead of bidding on properties that were 260 and 270, which they were falling in love with, you know, clearly they were much nicer than the properties that were 229 or 215. But we chose to work with the properties in this price range because we knew that if you had to make aggressive offers and go above asking and then cover some appraisal shortages in this crazy market, we didn't want to get, you know, totally, um, uh, to, you know, at the higher end of their, uh, what they were approved for. So the property was listed at 229K. We escalated it and got the bid at 236. And it appraised at 235, which means they had to bring only one extra thousand to the table, which is fine. They were covered for that and were good to go. So every situation is a little different. Every transaction is a little different. Buyer strengths are a little different. Make sure the realtor that you're working with, you know, understands these dynamics before they're asking you to waive that appraisal contingency in a multiple bid situation. Hope this was helpful. Please, if you have any questions, write them in the comments below. I'm happy to answer or give you any specifics. These deals are done. The appraisals have all been, have come in. And so I'm happy to share that information with you now. Take care. This is Bella Vora signing off.